welcome back to underwater math. I'm Sir Puffington, and I am going to help you build your skills with equivalent fractions. First, let's make sure we know what equivalent fractions are. Equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value, but have different numbers. For example, two-fourths and one-half are equivalent because they cover the same amount of the model. They have different numbers, but represent the same value. Let's take a look at these two models. Here we have two-thirds. If we wanted to make an equivalent fraction, we would want to use another model that is a multiple of 3 to determine the number of pieces we should use. Let's use sixths, because it is a multiple of 3. We can still see our thirds inside of the sixths model here. Now, how many sixths are equivalent to two thirds? Well, we can see there are two sixths inside of one third, and four sixths inside of two thirds. Two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. Let's take a look at another model with my friend Nitro. Here we have a double number line. I can see the first one is split into fourths, and the second is split into eighths. Let's jump over to three fourths and six eighths. What do you notice? Hey there my dudes, I noticed that the two points are in the exact same spot. The two number lines are also the exact same size. I'm thinking that three fourths and six eighths are equivalent. That's right Nitro, three fourths and six eighths are equivalent. They are both the same distance to one hole. Right on, Sir Puffington. Dude, there is something I've always wondered about. What's that Nitro? Well, like, we have whole numbers, and we have fractions, but how are they related? We use both all the time. Very good question, Nitro. Whole numbers and fractions are related. We use fractional parts to make up whole numbers. For example, if we had four fourths, then we would have one whole. If we had eight fourths, now we have two whole. Oh, I get it. And if we had 12 fourths, we would have three whole. We just needed another full set of fourths. That's exactly right, nailed it. Now there is one more thing to remember with whole numbers and fractions. If you have a whole number on its own, the denominator is always 1. For example, the whole number 7 has a denominator of 1. Righteous. I love learning about fractions Sir Puffington. Thanks for making it make more sense. You've got it Nitro. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to let these students go practice on their own. I have one more question for you. Where do fish keep their money? Swim right into this one. The riverbank. <laughs> Very funny Nitro. Thanks for the joke. Good luck practicing.